Good morning. What I'm about to share to you this morning is quite interesting. So listen very carefully. Let us pray first. Almighty Father in heaven, thank you again for another day, another morning that you have given to us so that we can continue on learning from your word and serving you for your glory and honor. Bless now our devotion this morning. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Most people, if not all, will be celebrating Valentine's Day this coming February 14. They say it's love month and it's about love. Is it really? So, First of all, what is love or define love? Have you been asked by this question before? If yes, then how would you define love? I believe we can all give some definitions about it, but what does the Bible says about love? When we say the Bible says means what God says. So let us be clear on that. So, what does God says about love? Let us open our Bible in 1st John chapter 4 verse 7 to 13. 1st John 4 verse, verse 7 to 13, beloved, let us love one another for love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent His only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through Him. Herein is love, not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. No man hath seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, in us and His love is perfected in us. Hereby know we that we dwell in Him, and He in us, because He had given us of His Spirit. Coming from His Word, the very definition of love is Himself. In verse 8 says, God is love. Or we can simply rephrase by saying, True love. True love. In Romans chapter 3 verse 4, it says, Let God be true, but every man a liar as it is written. Take note. God is truth. God is true. His word is true. So, in John chapter 3 verse 16, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. God, God's love or true love personified in Christ Jesus. That, that word true love is personified in the Lord Jesus Christ. In 1st John chapter 4 verse 7 says, Love is of God, and God is love, says in verse 8, and if you know Him, meaning you were born again in the Spirit, and dwelt by His Spirit, as what verse 13 says, we possess that love. Therefore, we know what it means to genuinely uh, love someone because 
in Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 says, The very first fruit mentioned is, The fruit of the Spirit is love. The world has a wrong notion of love. Because in 1 John chapter 2 verse 16 says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. People mistook lust for love. That is why most people, people falls into that deadly trap which is lust. It's not love, but lust. That is why many people today, uh, especially young men and women, fall into that sin. A great mistake because they thought it was love, but it was actually lust. In Romans chapter 5 verse 8 says, But God commended His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You see, that is true love. Commended means approved or proved or put forward through Christ's death. Though we were still enemies of God, Remember, he died, he says, but God commanded his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That is why God says, love your enemies. When we say love your enemies, it simply means forgive them. If they wronged you, if they did something bad to you, God says, forgive Love them. Young ladies, if a man comes to you this coming uh, February 14 uh, and says, I love you, it's not true love. It's last. But he comes, but when he comes to you and says, I will marry you, even if I know nothing. I know not everything in you, meaning he is ready to accept the worst in you. It is true love. So, again, what is love? God is love. So thank you. This is Missionary Bob Colon. Again, good morning.